What's up guys, it's the Tech Playoffs and I'm back with another video. I'm gonna try to make this quick. I'm making this video just to answer a question that I've been getting over and over again. Is iPad OS 16 stable enough to use on a daily basis? And how was the battery life? And I just got that same question right now. So, so far it has been pretty decent. The uh, UI is pretty smooth. Um, opening apps and closing apps as you can see here pretty smooth nothing too crazy um i did notice that when i went into the music app i did get some issues where when i was trying to play a song it would say no resources available so as you can see i'm running 5g this is my 5g ipad air fifth generation m1 right now it's working but uh, I kept getting into the issue where I would select a song or a video and it kept saying no resources available and I had to close the app, reopen it, and constantly kept getting that issue. So if you're constantly listening to music on the iPad or the iPhone, uh, I would hold off because for right now, at least for me, it's not working 100% properly. Um, but other than that, everything else is pretty uh quick I'm trying to see if i can show you guys real quick uh, let me see my places here let me pop up gps if you're worried about gps and you use it a lot for work it works pretty good as you can see here it'll give you turn by turn navigation um what else here the app store opens pretty quick everything updates properly I can switch between my tabs here. Everything's working properly. Um, this is the weather app. So that loads up, it works pretty good as well. Uh, so, so far on the iPad, I haven't noticed any major issues other than the Apple Music giving me an issue. I'm not sure if that's gonna roll over to Spotify or for YouTube Music as well. I just noticed for Apple Music, I was getting a lot of uh, error message saying no resources available. So, and I and I was on Wi-Fi. I was on, I tried on 5G. It wasn't a connection issue. It was just an issue with Apple Music. Um, other than that, it runs pretty smooth. The battery life is pretty good. As you can see, I'm at 80%. I didn't charge it this morning. I had to charge yesterday. I did use it a little bit. Um, and it's pretty decent for the battery life i don't know if this gives me a battery option here but as you can see i've been using it um not too not, since i last charged it i believe it's been around maybe three hours or so that i use it and i'm still at 80 percent so it's pretty good battery lives on ipads stay pretty well um this lasts me throughout the day on heavy use with no problem even on ios 16 so I wouldn't worry about battery life. And that's with me using the 5G. If you're on Wi-Fi, you'll probably get even better battery life. So, so far, pretty good. Um, if you wanna test drive it, just keep in mind, you're gonna get, you're gonna run into some bugs. It's not perfect. Just remember to be patient. There might be some times where an uh, app closes on you or you might have to restart the iPad because things are not working properly. Uh, just keep in mind, this is a beta. If you want to test it, you can, uh, but just keep in mind, like I said, you're going to run into some issues. Other than the small issues that I've run into, the, uh, the software is pretty good and the battery life is pretty well. So I'm going to keep testing it out and I'll update you guys if I find anything else or if I run into any other issues. Other than that, guys, always thank you for the support. Have a good day. Peace.